Hello everyone, I'm Lin Yunzhen, a PhD student of London Robotics and a vision in medicine lab in College London. I would like to present our work entitled Open Operator Based Extended Common Filter for Cursor Load Range Estimation. Range load information is valuable during the robot assisted surgery. Integrate a miniature physical sensor to uh, for force sensing is a direct but challenging way, which may even be infeasible due to dimension limitation, sterilizability, and uh, bio MI compatibility. An alternative way is to turn the continuous robot or elastic rod itself into a virtual force moment sensor by intrinsic range sensing algorithms. Such algorithms typically require a model to establish a relationship between external loads, shape deflection, and or actuation values. These algorithms can be categorized as three groups, actuation-based, deflection-based, and curvature-based, according to what states are measured as inputs in the algorithm. In this paper, we propose a coupling operator-based extended common filter for estimating the range acting on elastic rod using post states along the rod as input. The main contributions include Coupon operator is used to model elastic rod as a dynamic system. The derivative terms in the cursor rod equations have been embedded in the lifting functions. An additional project relief operation has been incorporated to the coupon model to improve its multiple step prediction accuracy. Then, the coupon rod model has been utilized in an extended common filter. We evaluated the observer's estimation performance through numerical simulations, and we proposed a preliminary explanation on the convergence speed discrepancies between force and moment estimation. Finally, the static balance law has been used to improve force estimation accuracy. In the modeling section, static rod is considered as a spatially involving dynamic system means the rod involving its states with respect to actions. Coupon operator is adopted to describe the dynamic system. We consider cursor rod model as a ground truth and motivated by the set of ODS. We define system state vector as a position, orientation quaternion, and the force and the moment. Input vector include external distributed force and the moment. We simulate the cursor rod ODS uh, to obtain many random trajectories and sampling the state and the input data. A bunch of lifting functions are selected to lift the sample states. Then, extended dynamic mode decomposition is used to identify system matrices A, B, and C. A linear mode could be formulated with the matrices, but in order to maintain a high prediction accuracy across multiple steps, I apply an additional project relief operation in here uh, at every prediction step and lead to a nonlinear discrete occurrence rod model. Another highlight is by using non-unit quaternion vector to parameterize the rotation matrix, orientation feedback can be dealt as a vector by the observer without mathematical skills dealing with the special orthogonal properties of the rotation matrix. Standard discrete extended common field is applied to the coupon rod model. The right diagram should illustrate how EKF works on rod system. We can see deviation between measured poles and the coupon rod mode predicted pole will be a feedback term and multiplied by the common gear matrix to obtain the estimated state. The explicit formulation of coupon rod mode allows an analytical form of state Jacobian. In later numerical experiments, we chose the state itself, state derivatives and the simple radial basis functions as the lifting function. So the exact form for the derivative with respect to state x can be derived here. This allows efficiently computing the Jacobian removes the need for numerically approximating. The rod we simulated on is a 1 mm diameter lateral rod and a 100 mm lens. The training data is collected from 500 simulated trajectories on cursor rod ODS. Uh, regarding lifting functions, after comparing between various types of functions, we find the state, state derivatives, and the radial basis functions constitute an accurate choice. Uh, its equipment training error is very small, 
and the prediction with projector lift exhibits much smaller error than linear involving. So uh, in the figure, we can see the shape predicted by Cooper model with the projector lift uh, matches well with the true shape from the Cassel-Rod model, while the linear involving one deviates a lot. The projector relief operation is compatible with EKF steps. So in the estimation simulation, we decided to use the selected lifting functions and the Cooper model with the projector relief. In rich estimation evaluations, we set four example cases, which the large shape value from less curved to a highly curved, as shown in the figure. The left figure shows force and moment estimation conversion process for case 1 and case 4. We can see moment estimation can converge quickly to true states, while estimated force converge much slowly. The convergence speed discrepancy will be explained later. The slowly converging force estimation is unsatisfied. Consider the estimated moment is much more accurate, and the position are accurately measured. So Hopefully, we can utilize the static balance constraint between position, force, and moment uh, to improve force estimation. As shown here, by selecting multiple portions of the log, we can formulate a redundant set of linear equations to obtain a better force estimation. Statistic results from 100 cases show mean and maximum error for force estimation is uh, 65% and 82% but can be improved to 10% and 32% utilizing the constraint equation. The bottom figure shows with the improving. The estimated force vector can be very accurate, will be very close to the true force vector. Uh, for moment estimation error are 2% in average and 7% in maximum. The mean estimation error for force and moment are comparable to the state of the art. While maximum force estimation uh, is not so good, which happens on highly curved watt strips. Uh, however, in continual robots, such strip is not practical during the normal operations. A preliminary explanation is proposed for the convergence speed discrepancy. We can do an intuitive range observability analysis. In the cost of large ODS, the force N and the moment M influence shape by inducing strain. Angular strain U, uh, which include the bending and torsion dominate, but the linear strain V, which are elongation and the shear, uh, is nearly like legible. So it means in the moment has a larger shape influence capability, which reflect the better observability as well. We propose two shape influence matrix, HN and HM, which reflect how large the rod shape can be influenced by a small change of force or moment. Uh, numerical results of the matrices verify that this shape influence capability difference. We can see the phenobinous long of HN is much smaller than that of HM. Currently, we are working on validating the rand range sensing algorithm on a physical rod. As shown in the picture, we developed an experimental setup similar to the IL paper. We established a stereo vision system for reconstructing 3D large shape. A light pad is placed uh, to provide a pure background in the image uh, to simplify the rather centralized extraction in processing the stereo images. Currently, we hang a weight, uh, hang a weight to apply external force to the rod. In future, we will attach a six-dove force sensor between the rod and the base to obtain a good to obtain ground truth range. We developed a stereo reconstruction algorithm to measure three D positions along the rod. The left image shows a few examples of the measured results with different rod uh, deflections, and a video shows the algorithm's learning performance. Then the vision reconstruction, reconstruction algorithm can run around the 10 hertz or MATLAB. With a good position of the camera, the rod, and the background light pad, the vision system meets our need to capture rod shape in a large workspace. Actually, we can only get positions from the uh, stereo vision system, and in order to obtain rod's orientation, 
which is also required as input in the virtual server. We can we are now adopting the Flinit robust software, which can provide a robust estimation of the Flinit flame from position of a space curve. In conclusion, this paper presents a coupon operator based discrete occurrence mode for 3D elastic rod and then incorporate with EKF to form a range estimation scheme. Both estimation is improved using static equilibrium constraint among state variables. Uh, lastly, numerical simulations validate the estimation algorithm and the preliminary explanation is proposed for state convergence speed discrepancy. The future works will include experimental validation of the algorithm on a practical rod, and this algorithm will also be extended to be a general range observer for various types of continuous robots, like consecutive robots, uh, many backbone continuous robots, etc. Thank you very much for your attention, and I look forward to answering your questions.